Barakatuh, brothers and sisters. I'll give a uh, big thanks to the uh, ICNA and MAS uh, organization for inviting me here to Baltimore to speak. Um, the topic I was uh, asked to speak about was Native American Muslim roots and history. Um, given that topic, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking and, you know, doing some research, and there really is not a lot to uh, speak about in regards uh, to history with Native Americans and uh, Islam. Uh, like the brother introduced me, uh, my name is Lewis Butcher Jr. Uh, I'm known within the Ummah as Brother Bashir. I converted to Islam in September 2001. So I'm gonna give a little story on that because uh, I told the story about a million times. I know I'm gonna tell it about another million times. Uh, I converted in 2000, 2001, September 21st. Um, I was a baptized Episcopalian. Uh, on the reservations, you find a lot of churches. They've been there for uh, quite a long time. You know, a lot of missionaries, you know, con converting uh, my people to, uh, to their churches. So I was baptized in an Episcopalian church. Um, because before I converted, I was, uh, I really got into, got back into the church. So I was like, you know, doing a lot of Bible study and attending church every Sunday, uh, doing, uh, involved in hermeneutics and all of that. Um, I met a brother, an African American brother who converted to Islam himself. So we got to, you know, visit while we worked. And uh, there was one day he, uh, he mentioned to me that, uh, he asked me, did you know that there, are any Native, that there are some Native American Muslims? So I said, no, I didn't know that. So that really, that really uh, drew some interest in me. So I, I started doing some reading, doing some comparative religion between Islam and uh, Christianity. And uh, the, the more I read, the more interested I became in Islam because uh, in our traditional ways, there are a lot of similarities between Islam and uh, our, our, what we call Native American spirituality, you know, that connection we have with our creator and uh, all, uh, all living beings and everything that was created by the, our sole creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know. Before then, before I converted, I didn't know him as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know. I knew him as our creator or as God. So as I read more and more, um, it was a, uh, it really, really, really touched my heart, everything that Islam uh, taught about being a, being a human being, you know, having good character, morals and manners, and etiquettes, and uh, how, you, how you treat others, you know, how you, how you treat uh, other beings, you know, animals, you know, even, even nature. And that's what uh, our traditional ways teaches, you know, to uh, believe in you know, our Creator, to believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So I had my mind made up after I studied for a couple months, two, three months or so, and then September 11th happened. 911 occurred, and by that time I had my mind made up that I wanted to become a Muslim. So as, uh, as events unfolded, I kind of stepped back in my mind and I told myself, well, let me sit back and wait till the dust, dust settles and see what happens. Then I want to see if I still want to become a Muslim. But I thought about it and being a Native American, uh, I'm full-blooded Lakota. Uh, and all the things that our, uh, our people have been, you know, going through all this uh, genocide, oppression, everything for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, I've seen what the Muslims are going through with 9-11. So, um, okay. sound better? 
Okay, all right, thank you. So, you know, I made, I made my mind up that I want to become a Muslim, and I've seen everything that Muslims are going through. So in my heart, I could see, you know, I could empathize with what Muslims are going through because what, that's some of the things that we're going through as Native Americans, what we're still going through today. So um, I told her brother, uh, I'm ready to take my Shahada. He's like, are you sure? So I said, yeah, I'm ready to take my Shahada. So, uh, up up there. So it was like on Salat al Juma, on September 21st, 2011, I took my Shahada and I've been a, you know, I became a Muslim. And uh, I, I went through a lot being a, being a native Muslim, you know. There was a lot, a lot of things that I was accused of, you know. You know, no offense to anybody, one of the things that, you know, really upset me was like, you know, asking me, you know, why I'm a Muslim and all the stuff that's associated with terrorism and wanting to be black and all the stuff I went through after I converted because uh, it's, it's, it's out of ignorance. People don't, even today, you know, people don't understand what Islam is about. You know, Islam is a way of life. This deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a way of life, much like our, uh, our spiritual ways in our, 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 our native uh, traditions. It's a way of life. So there are a lot of similarities between native spirituality and Islam, you know, and but a year or two after I converted, I met a brother. I never met him in person, but uh, I contacted him and uh, he, was, uh, he was part Native American and part Hispanic. He, lived in, he was based in California. He had his, uh, little, his own Dawa organization. It was called Native American and Spanish speaking Islamic outreach. So I, um, I looked to him as like a, a mentor. But uh, that relationship didn't last very long because uh, he passed away. So, you know, as far as, you know, Muslim roots for me as a Native American, you know, he was like a mentor I wanted to have because, you know, he was, you know, like part of me. Um, but I, like I said, that relationship didn't last very long. It was a good relationship, but, uh, you know, he passed on, you know. So uh, it's... Um, it's good to see a lot of you. I mean, this is the first time I've been in, in a large uh, gathering of Muslims. I've been through a lot of like, you know, Eid festivals and stuff, but not, you know, with places with so many Muslims, you know. It's good to see you all, you know, and, you know, you know, it's, you know. Yeah, and, and I have a family. I have a family. I have, you know, my wife, she converted in 2012. She's, uh, she's also a uh, full-blooded Native American. We have uh, a... <laughs> we have two beautiful... We were blessed uh, with two beautiful daughters. We have one who's 26 months old and one should be, should be three weeks old on Monday. So, you know, it's, it's really good, you know, to be here, you know, be amongst a, a huge gathering of my brothers and sisters in faith, but yet still missing my... Missing my bebelas, you know, that's how we say babe in our language, my bebelas, you know, so. Um, like I said, I really wanted to share a lot about Islamic history with Native Americans, but, you know, there's really not a lot, you know, because it's, Islam is pretty new to, to Native American Muslims. You know, I think uh, in South Dakota, I might say I'm probably the only Muslim in the state of South Dakota who's Native American, but there are like a lot of brothers and sisters in Canada who are converting, and there are other Native American Muslims here in the United States. Um, I wish there, but there was more here with me, but inshallah, someday, you know, you know, this ikna, this Islamic circle of Native, uh, North America becomes the Islamic circle of Native Americans, inshallah, you know. <laughs> so, you know, I know we're not, you know, uh, some of the similarities that I, I could touch on is like, you know, like the virtues that we have in Islam, a lot, a lot of that is taught in the Islam, Native American ways, so. Okay, so, you know, I'm not gonna, I wish I could make you laugh like the previous speaker did, but you know, I got one minute to speak, so. <laughs> but it's really, it's a blessing to be here. Um, I wish I had more time to speak and more to share, but you know, you know, reach out to other, uh, other minorities. There was a, something I seen on Facebook today from one of my friends, like, you know, Islam is, uh, most diverse 
uh, community faith amongst all of the faiths. And looking at that, there are, you know, a lot of uh, minority uh, Muslims. And, uh, Native Americans only stood for like 1% or less of that. But, you know, inshallah, we're growing. You know, we're growing. There's going to be more of us. And hopefully, inshallah, you, you'll hear more of us, you know, other than myself. Again, I want to say thanks to, you know, the, the convention organizers and to everybody here for, you know, taking the time to listen to me and, you know, you know, being here, just you know, supporting this organization. So with that, you know, I'm closed, and I want to say thank you again. You know, Jazakallah Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.